Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a look at a plugin called Spectrum Matcher that allows us to match one spectrum of a sound to a different spectrum and even correct it so that they sound pretty similar. This is a technique that can help you really quickly match one sound to a different sound, probably your own voice or some instrument that you've recorded, but you had to record it in a kind of different situation. You now want to make sure that everything sounds as close to each other as possible, although manual correction would obviously be recommended here. Spectrum Matcher can sometimes get you going really quickly and I will show you how to do this right now. Before starting, let's listen back to the audio examples I've prepared for you. They are pretty different. They are two times me speaking, obviously. One time me speaking via a really crappy headset microphone, and one time one of the snippets, the intro of one of my last videos. So let's now listen back to those real quick. I will go up to the first track. One headset, one item. I will solo this. Soloed. And we'll just play it back for you. This is a test recording with my really bad headset microphone that doesn't sound great at all, but I need this for a comparison to demonstrate the spectrum. I will just cut it here, right? So you can hear this is really bad quality. Obviously, lacks heights and, and lows and, and mids and everything. It's just understandable, but it's not nice to listen to, right? So let's just unsolo this again. Unsoloed. And go down to the second track. Two mid one item. And solo that. Soloed. And you might remember the stuff that is coming now from one of my other videos. Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a look at how to load different sounds into a sampler called Reassemplematic 5000. So it sounds really, really different and much clearer and more crisp and more detailed and everything much better, right? So what does Spectrum Matcher do? Well, Spectrum Matcher analyzes your spectrum of one recording all the frequencies and everything, and allows me to apply those frequency changes to a totally different recording. Now, I have to say that you shouldn't do this with two different instruments or speakers or whatever you record, two totally different things, because this will just create some interesting effects. Like, you can try if you want to, but I tried it because I wanted to replicate the specific frequency curve, the sound of one of the people I'm listening to quite frequently, and I really like the quality. And I did this and applied the changes to me, and this totally messed up my recording because it's it's boosting frequencies that do not sound great on my voice because my voice sounds totally different, right? So what Spectrum Match is really good for is if you have two recordings of yourself, like me in this case, and they are slightly different because they were different and like you recorded in different situations, outdoors and indoors, for example, or you had to use two different microphones, or you just misplaced the microphone one time, or you just placed a little bit more off and you can definitely hear the difference. Spectrometer might help you correct this. Now, first of all, we have to install this. Spectrometer is a JSFX, which means that's a JS plugin that runs directly inside Reaper and does not come as an external plugin. It's not a VST plugin, nothing like that. It's Reaper internal and can only be used in Reaper, but it's free. So you don't need to purchase anything. You just need to install it. How do you install it? You install it via Repack. I've told you all about Repack already in a few of my other videos. Repack is a repository manager, which means that you can install it into Reaper and then install various community developed scripts directly into Reaper. Now, Repack can be found at repack.com. You just go there, you install it for your operating system, be it Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever. And then you open the extensions menu and go in there and find Repack. Edits views inside of track option action submanual extension submanual repo mini the Repack submenu R. Great. So this is where we're going to go. Now you need to import a repository. How do you do this? You go into the import repository menu. So we will go into repack. Synchronize packages S. You go down a little bit. Browse pack import repositories I. Now you go in there. Import repositories dialog. Type or paste one or more repository index RLS. One per line. 
Edit multi line blank. And in this input box, you will paste the link that I attached for you in the video description. That's the link to the repository of Gurren Luff. He is developing some really helpful scripts. Sorry if I butchered your name, by the way, in the case that you're watching this video. And he's he's developed some really neat JSFX plugins. For example, he's developed a free Reaver plugin, which is actually pretty neat and is totally free and runs directly within Reaper JSFX. Really nice stuff in this repository. So go ahead, copy the URL, paste it in there, and you will be able to install the script that we are going to talk about in just a second. Now, after finishing that, you tap Discover Repositories, button Alt plus D. And once more. OK, button Alt plus O. And you hit OK. Unsaved. Now, after doing that, you go to the extensions menu again. File edit view inside of track options sub extension sub menu Alt plus X. Go down there. Leap of Raypack sub menu R. Open that. Synchronize packages S. And go down to browse repositories. Browse packages B. Or browse packages, sorry. Present on that. Browse packages dialog filter edit blank. And in there, in the filter, you type Spectrum Matcher, which is S P E C S P E C T R U M T R U M, and that should already be enough. Spectrum should be enough. Just tab a few times now. Clear button of display one slash two thousand and twenty five packages button. Yeah, that's fine. List. Here we go. I package Spectrum Matcher category utility version one point seven point one author Jared Love type effect last update June the tenth twenty eighteen one of one. Awesome. That's what we want to install. To install that, you hit tab three times. Select on select actions, button alt plus. You hit actions with space. Context menu menu. You go in there. I can just reinstall here. Reinstall v1.7.1r. But instead of reinstall, you will find install. You hit OK on that. Browse. You tab once. OK button alt plus. You hit OK. Spawn save. And you will get a success message because you've installed something. I don't. Now, Spectrum Matcher is successfully installed. How to use it? Spectrum Matcher needs to be applied in two steps. The first step might only be required once, and the other steps can be repeated as often as you want. Now, the first step would be to scan and analyze your reference. Your reference would be the sound that you want to match, so the better quality sound, right? So we select our microphone track, the one with the good quality. Two solo mid one item. This is soloed right now. Awesome. We press F. Add FX to track to mid dialog filter. Search filter combo box collapsed. Edit selected spectrum. And here we will find spectrum I already entered. That. Just enter it again. Just go there. Um, spectrum, S P E C T R U M, right? Just like I spelled before. Shift tab now. List one list. JS. Spectrum matcher by Jared Love. Not selected two of two. That is the one you want. Selected. And select that and hit enter. Now, one thing to add here, really important. If you just installed Spectrum Matcher and it's not showing up in here, that might be because of Reaper. Reaper just rescans from time to time and it might not have rescanned your plugins yet. So you can just do that by going into the FX menu in here. FX sub menu alt plus F. Go up arrow. Rename FX. Close SC. Block FX browser scan for new plugins F5S. That's what you want to do. You want to scan for new plugins. Scanning VST plugins. Dialog. Add FX. Great, you've scanned now, and now Spectrum Matcher should show up. JS, Spectrum Matcher by Jared Love, 2 of 2. Now, instantiate that by hitting Enter. FX, track 2 mid, list 1 list, JS, Spectrum Matcher by Jared Love, 1 of 1. Now you need to play back your source so that the Spectrum Matcher can analyze your source material. We will do that and play it by pressing space. Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to take a look at how to load different sounds into a sampler called Reassemplematic 5000, or short RS5K, in Reaper so that it can play all of the samples individually via your preferred medium. Now that's all there, and now it has analyzed it. We need to learn it to the plugin now, and we do that by going into the plugin with F6. Unknown. And it's unknown, it cannot be read aloud without the help of OCR. That is important. What we need to do now is OCR it, which can be done with NVDA, R, or your JAWS equivalent. Recognizing result document. And the window is actually pretty small. Let's see what we've here. Spectrum matcher. Learn. Reset. Correct. So we want to learn. Let's go up. Reset. Learn. And mouse click the learn button. Enter does not work. You need to move the mouse there, which I think on laptop layout works by pressing shift NVDA M and then you do a left click with NVDA, which on my case is done by pressing divide. 
left click. And now we just escape out of this and reanalyze again. Recognizing result document. And it looks like this. Less back. 0.33 octaves. Resolution. Peak bias. Learn spectrum. 40 milliseconds. Period. Reset. Save. Save. And what we need to do is save. So we need to put our mouse there and simulate a left click again. Left click. That saves it. We can confirm that by just escaping out of it and recognizing again. Recognizing with spectrum matcher. Learn. Reset. Correct. And it just looks like before. So now we have saved our profile. That's saved into the plugin by now. And it can now be stored as a preset. And we will do that because it's easier to handle it that way. Let's escape out of this. Unknown. And escape this. Unsaved. And reopen the FX chain with F. FX. Try to make this. This will get us back into the FX list. Now let's tap a few times. Edit multi line edit FX combo box no preset reset and performance management button. That is the button that we want to have. We NVDA enter this. Context menu menu. Which we open the menu, right? Let's use down arrow. Save preset S. That is the one where you want to do. Save preset combo box collapsed. Edit selected no preset. Give it a proper name. Let's call it Flag Select T-O-I. Tony MRC. Mike FX. Here we go. Now we will delete this spectrum matcher here because we don't need it anymore. It's just done its purpose. We've now successfully created the frequency with spectrum of my track that I actually want to replicate with the other track. Combo by edit, F edit multi line plan, list one list. So we go. Active. Delete. The effect is gone. We will just close this down. Unsaved. And unsolo this. Unsoloed. Great. Now up arrow. One headset, one item. Solo this. Soloed. And now we will have to instantiate Spectrum Matcher in this track as well. Add FX to track one headset dialog filter. So we pressed F once again. We still have Spectrum in there. We shift tap. List one list JS. Spectrum Matcher by Jared Love 202. Awesome. Instantiate it. FX. And now we will have it analyze this file as well. Just press space again. This is a test recording with my really bad headset microphone that doesn't sound great at all, but I need this for a comparison to demonstrate the Spectrum Matcher plugin in Reaper today for this video. So I hope this recording was long enough. Let's see what we can make of it. Awesome. Now it has analyzed this as well. And now we just need two things. Number one, we need to load the preset. Let's tab a few times for that. Edit multi edit FX comma combo box no preset collapsed. That is the one and we will need to use NVDA down arrow to open the preset menu in here. FX preset list no preset two or five. Awesome. User presets dot Tony Mick five or five. That is the one that we need. Tony Mike, let's load it. FX. Awesome, it's loaded. Reopen the FX list just, just to get the focus thing right. FX. Now press F6 to get automatically moved into the plugin window. Unknown. And here we will now OCR again. Recognizing with Spectrum Matcher. Learn. 12 SD. Reset. Correct. Correct. And we will hit correct this time. Pull mouse and left click. Left click. And now we will play it back. Unknown. This is a test recording with my really bad headset microphone that doesn't sound great at all. But I need this for a comparison to demonstrate the Spectrum Matcher plugin in Reaper today for this video. So I hope this recording was long enough. Let's see what we can make of it. I hope that it can already hear the difference there. It's a lot more bass in there because it just analyzed the frequencies and found out that there's too few of the bass frequencies and lower mids going on there. So it dialed it up. It obviously tried to boost the heights as well, but the microphone, the headset microphone just doesn't record more than 12K. So there isn't much that we can do about it. It's already a lot better. Now there's one additional thing that you need to do to prevent your CPU from going into overdrive. Because right now it is still analyzing the frequency that comes in and tries to model it after the reference frequency. But if you're happy with the result, then you should freeze it. Let's press NVDIR again to OCR. Recognizing spectrum matcher. And look here. Learn. Reset. Freeze. KHZ. Hi. Hi. Now we need to do freeze. KHZ freeze. Freeze, pull mouse, left click. Left click. That would just freeze it so that you can now save it into your plugin. It will no longer recognize the frequencies of the input signal. It just 
totally remembered the filter that it applied to model your input signal like the signal that came in through the reference track. And as you can hear, uh -huh. this is a test recording with my really bad headset microphone that it's just boosting the frequencies that were nice and clean in my reference track as well. That's exactly what I expected. It's not, nothing is too harsh apart from the things that were just badly recorded with the other mic, but the frequencies that were lacking before are now just boosted to the value that it sounds great, not to the value where it sounds harsh or distorted or anything like that. So it's actually doing a pretty good job for the effort that we put into it, which were not even 30 seconds if you're doing this fluently because you already know what you're doing. So I thought I'd just let you know about this plugin because it's really nice especially if you've got situations where you recorded a guitar in one situation and then in a different situation or you're moving around a lot and recording things in different positions different locations the mic is in different positions from your mouth or whatever and you just want to try and match the sound throughout the entire recording although you're trying to puzzle things together now i hope that was useful and makes sense if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comment section below the video you find all the links and everything in the video description as usual thanks for watching and until next time bye bye